this is how they start the felt shingling on a tile roof. Um, you'll notice this one is in upside down as we call it. Normally when you, when you lay your roof you have the slots going down to give you the tile effect. But if we laid that one first, that one ray round, it wouldn't be watertight because the water will go in here. So you lay the first one upside down and we'll follow through with that, that sequence. But once you've done that, you then put the next one over and as you can see you've got the watertight seal. That makes your whole roof watertight. So your first one goes upside down all the way across the uh, eaves edge and then you're over to, to back the right way and work your way up the roof. So we're going to lay these all upside down, the first ones. Uh, now you might notice that these are they're just a bit flappy. There's a deliberate reason for that. And the reason is what we're doing is we're coming 40 mil out from the eaves fascia board. Uh, that what that does is it allows you to enable to fit guttering, so the water runs off the felt shingle tile and, and straight into the middle of the guttering. If you're not having guttering, you can you can put these back, just so they're just just proud of that. But we do always recommend uh, guttering. Actually, not not for the fact of collecting uh, water but so the, the water doesn't run off your roof, hit the ground and then bounce back at your building. So it isn't actually to do with collecting water, it's to protect your building.